quarterback 22 on the season. Consistency rank number two. Ryan Tannehill, who came in and was a revelation with this offense. I was statting out things for the Ultimate Draft Kit 2020, and I just looked at the incredible disparity between Marcus Mariota and Ryan Tannehill. You're talking about 11% greater accurate. You know, 11% of your throws now are completions instead of incompletions because he can get the ball to guys, you know, hit them at the right spot. And and this is under the assumption that Derrick Henry is back, and that's obviously not a guarantee. He's a free agent. Maybe he goes, you know, in division to the Texans. But if Derrick Henry is back, this is a team that, you know, you're, you, you can't say, you know, I, we're taking Tan Hill out of the game. We're, you know, we're going to let Derrick Henry beat us because he'll beat you. Um, and with the weapons of A.J. Brown getting better, Corey Davis not having to be the man, I, I like Tan Hill a lot. Yeah, I, I was going to ask the question, what does that really mean? Because obviously, you know, the 22, finishing 22 on the year, that doesn't matter because he didn't play the whole season. And then the consistency rank of number two, well, that kind of doesn't matter because you're not drafting him over – uh, Mahomes, Lamar Jackson. You're not drafting him over Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson. But he so, won't be anywhere near. I don't believe for a second that Ryan Tannehill will be a highly drafted quarterback. I think that other names, uh, 10, 11, 12 names next year will be drafted ahead of him. I could see Baker Mayfield again going ahead of uh, Ryan Tannehill. And if you're in one of those drafts where you're grabbing him as the ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th quarterback off the board, I'm all about that because he was both consistent and gave you good upside. Mike, did he give you enough games for you to feel the same way? I'm just so concerned. That it, and, and this is not – I'm not using analytics to, for, or anything to back this up, but was that just a magical thing that happened for Ryan Tannehill? Like, it happens. Like Carson Wentz had a season that was pure magic. Oh, we've seen it I mean, four Der times with uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick where – he comes yes. into the next year, you think, oh, it's the Decker, Brandon yes. Marshall year. We were on fire. We're going to the playoffs. The next year it starts up. Ryan Fitzpatrick was not a fantasy option. Derek Carr, a quarterback who I think is very, very average to below average. He had a year where he was in line to be in, in the MVP votes. I mean, th these things just, it happens. It's professional sports. It's football. Things bounce the right way in your favor. That the stat they talked about, uh, I believe in the the Kansas City uh, playoff game against uh, against the Titans, where it was the field goal kicker. He hasn't had to make a kick in like 50 calendar days because they just kept getting it done in the red zone, and that is that's not that's not happening right for over the course of a full year. So Ryan, can Ryan Tannehill be anywhere close to that the quarterback that he was? over the course of a season. And I think these are the types of thoughts and phrases that will ensure he is not a highly drafted quarterback I, next I, year. And, I will not believe, so you're right. And and so if he is in the double-digit rounds, I want a guy who at least we've seen a stretch with this team where he was special. Uh, six games in his limited time, he was a top-six quarterback. Uh, you know, his floor was still pretty high because he runs the ball as well. So... I will be in if he's, you know, in those double digit rounds where I still expect him to be. Oh, hey. I was just looking at this really cool award we got. You see this? Mm, it's, it's pretty nice. Award. You can have your own if you click subscribe. 